This question looks really, really, really hard, okay? But you have to just be able to like take a breath and get through it. They're really giving us very easy stuff to work with here. We have an equation. We want to look for points to plug in, remember? Now, what are they asking about? They're asking about a point, right? This is a function notation, but this is basically the point 5, 1.053, right? So the x, or the t in this case, is kind of going in the parentheses, and then the y coordinate, or the w of t, is 1.053. So this is a point. Now when they're trying to turn it into a sentence on us, we can think about each component, right? Is the x in the right spot? Is the y in the right spot? Some of these answer choices are clearly flipping that. We can see that are they, first of all, talking about 1.053 is the number of years, or five is the number of years. Well, we can get that without much understanding of what's going on. Just go to the passage, go to the line, the passage, go to the question and see what the five or the 1.053 are supposed to be. Well, they tell us that the X coordinate, the T, is going to be the years. So if that's the case, this is T, W of T is the Y, well, we need to get rid of A and B right away because the five has to represent the number of years. We're just literally matching units. So I barely understand this story, but I'm able to say like, okay, that number is supposed to be the years, not the other one. And that gets me now a 50-50 shot of getting it right. Beyond that, we're really focused on whether it's 1.053 times greater or if 1.053 is a percentage. Now again, go back to the passage. Look for the difference in the passage. They're talking about W showing, uh, showing the average annual percentage increase in the weight of a grizzly bear. So the fact that percentage is there makes me really think that D is going to be the answer. Why is we talking about percentages if it's not going to be in choice, if it's going to be something like choice C where that's not mentioned at all? So this is a very, very difficult question at first glance. It looks like there's a lot of reading, but honestly, all you're doing is deciding what's the difference between an X coordinate and a Y coordinate and matching it up with the story. It's really just about matching the units. So this is why you cannot let them intimidate you into quitting a question. A lot of times there might be a lot of text, but the thing that you need to find is really easy to find once you use the answer choices to kind of work backwards, guess and check, and see what's there. The answer choices are going to have minor differences. Let those minor differences tell you what to check for in the story.